All right, welcome back to another episode of Northern Tesla. We are doing an FSD drive. Now, I know I haven't done an FSD drive in a while because in my opinion, there hasn't been that much progress in it from version to version. So I didn't see a point, but this morning I got V12, which is insane. Now, one of my biggest problems with previous versions of V11 was roundabouts. And as we're in right now, you can see it doesn't stop anymore. It doesn't come to complete stop like a stop sign, like an idiot. It actually goes through slowly, but sh surely it goes through like a normal person would do at roundabout. Uh, so in my neighborhood, there's lots of roundabouts. That's the first one. Here is the second one. There's a car coming over here. So we're gonna slow down a bit, but completely normal behavior. This is amazing. So the thing I noticed is the uh, set speed is 44 right now. We're only going 31. So a little cautious. Now again, we're gonna slow down. It's kind of a structure to the left, but we did not stop. We're just going through like a normal person would. This is amazing to me. So again, really slow right now. It's only going 23, it's kind of creeping. So speeding up. Now we're gonna go to a stop sign and this is kind of an obstructed stop sign to the left. Uh, so what it normally would do is stop really shallow, like right here and then inch forward. But that inching was always very uh, like stoppy, creepy. It would just not be smooth. And as you can see, we're kind of smooth. We're not stopping very much. And here we are. So again, an awesome, left turn there it wasn't jerky at all it kind of creeped up which you kind of have to with that stop sign because there's an obstruction from the trees over there so like i am seeing a completely new behavior off this software uh it's pretty much the hype is what it is this is good for wide release so we're going to be coming up to a a bigger roundabout and the issue i've always had with this roundabout is that it's a multi-lane roundabout and it would always pick the wrong lane uh it would always either go on a lane it's not supposed to like if it's just turning right which we're going to be doing it goes in the left lane which is not supposed to and if i'm going around the other way on the roundabout it would change lanes in the middle of the roundabout which you're not supposed to do uh so let's see how this behaves here so ideally, once we approach it, we should be turning right and going immediately right to lane. So there's lots of traffic here. So we are going to have to wait our turn and see if, uh, if FSD can properly negotiate this. So it sees a, it saw a gap because some car messed up over there and went through, right through it, it went to the right lane. This is incredible. So now we're gonna be turning a left lane up there. So it's already in the correct lane. So we're slowing down, we got truck coming and that should go after the truck. And here we go. So I'm just gonna take over there cause it went, it was gonna go in that right lane for whatever reason. So now we're gonna go in this uh, plaza here. I don't know if it's gonna park. So I'm at the front door of where we're supposed to go. So oh, it's gonna park. Oh boy, it's gonna park.
So just letting it kind of do what it's going to do here. There's a couple of spots here we can park. Maybe it knows me because I like to park it behind. So I'm just going to take over. Uh, I guess you have to put the brakes. So let's try the auto park while we're here. So there we are. Uh, obviously not the perfect drive. As you can see the last roundabout, it kind of messed up on. Uh, so, you know, not perfect yet, but a huge, huge, huge improvement over V11. And as you can see, auto park, it's a lot faster than it used to be. Uh, you can pick whichever parking spot you want. It was always finicky before. I can never, I, like, you have to drive around forever to get, act to get it to actually activate. Uh, so this is a huge step forward. Uh, I'm really impressed with the Tesla AI team. So. Uh, this is uh, obviously a quick video just to show you exactly what it's like and uh, hopefully we'll make some more. All right, catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Uh, in the meantime, drive safe and drive electric and drive FSD. If all you guys are going to have it with this free trial, definitely get on it and try it out.